Hey everyone, and welcome to my Final Fantasy VII PC installation guide. Um, I created this guide to help those of you who were having trouble uh, concerning the, your um, installation of the game. Um, so this is part one of the guide because uh, there are certain things that will cause your computer to restart during this installation process. Don't worry, I'll be making a part two. Also, I should be putting anything I say here in the um, description. So if you have any trouble with links or anything like that, uh, simply let me know. Now, there are a couple of basic assumptions I make in making this video. Um, the first assumption is that you have the Final Fantasy VII PC uh, disc, um, which in total should be 2.2 gigabytes, not the Ultima version. They must be the Final Fantasy VII PC original game, 2.2 gigabytes uh, in total. Um, and my second assumption is that you've converted these discs uh, to images, and you can do that using Daemon Tools or Ultra ISO or other image uh, creators um, and you would simply open up for instance daemon, daemon light add the file that you want and then click the make disk image which is your conversion um, and it's as simple as that and also if these uh, disks or files have come from a CD, make sure that CD is a complete version so that when you run the CD, um, it will execute properly and instead of opening up useless files. Okay, once you have all that, it should look like this. Final Fantasy 7 PC is the folder as you can see and I have an install disk, disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3 all properly labeled um, and uh, of a, an ISO uh, file type or image type if you will. Okay so now that we have that um, let's get to some things that you'll need first of which is daemon tools um, now you don't have to buy anything and you don't have to go pro I've always gotten by with the free version of daemon tools light simply click download under the file description ignore this stuff at the top daemon tools light description go download and as you can see you can run or save it and basically we want to download that um, after that's installed uh, you should have an icon that looks like this and uh, go ahead and open that we will be using that momentarily the next thing you'll need is a K-Lite codec pack and here you can see codecguide.com you get the standard version download standard it'll take you to the page um, go ahead and select mirror one and it should open up make sure you don't get all this recommended stuff go straight to the download to your right click download and there you are you want to save it and while that's downloading I'll go ahead and explain this you want K light codec uh, as well as true motion codec because that will allow the game to run on the newer PCs such as Windows 7 and so forth. The game was created for an older PC uh, so it is essential that we get this and the true motion codec which I'll show you in a minute because those are very important uh, in order to get it to run. So we run the application go ahead and click next keep it in advanced mode creates that leave all that k light codec that's fine <clears throat> this is fine go ahead and click next um, I personally don't care for that um, click next next install it tells us to close Internet Explorer that's fine let me just save this or I'll be able to find it so go ahead and close the Internet Explorer once you've done that click OK
And again, you'll be needing this for the game to work on Windows 7 and other newer uh, newer models. So we click finish and go ahead and open up a K codec. And while this is open, we'll actually use this opportunity and go ahead and search for true motion codec and scroll down you want to look for this Final Fantasy 7 PC neat compilation of patches and it has great patches that you can use later right now we want true motion codec so we click that it takes you to rapid share do not worry this is no virus or any pernicious file click download we save this as well downloading and voila true motion codec right here right click extract files go ahead and extract it and we have true motion codec and compression tool a folder we open it click duck the application duck don't ask me why it's called that I have no idea click yes next next Next, finish, gives you a readme that you don't need to worry about. All you need to know is that True Motion Codec 2.0 is now on your computer. So the next thing we want to do is go to All Programs, open up your newly uh, installed K-Lite Codec Pack, and we want to go to Configuration and FFD Show video decoder uh, as you can see it shows what's active and what's disabled we scroll down and we want to make sure true motion codec 1 comma 2 is disabled it's as you can see it's already disabled on mine but check it just in case it's not on yours and we want to uh, disable it if it is not okay click OK and that will allow the new true motion codec to run so we have true motion codec and we have K-Lite codec and remember those are essential so now that we have that we open up our daemon tools uh, we go add image again make sure it's ISO select the image install and we're going to highlight the image and mount it using the play button As you can see the image is mounting and it's run uh, setup dot uh, exe and that's running the installation as you can see sorry for your ears um, now go ahead and hit install next these two are required keep them do not install the other one we want to change this do not click standard install we want to make sure it is maximum install install all games files to your hard drive. This will make sure that you don't have to use CD-ROM. It already has our destination folder set up. Square, Soft, Ink, Final Fantasy VII, Great, and Program Folders, Final Fantasy VII. Now this will install, it'll give you a readme that you close, and it asks that your computer be uh, restarted. That's fine. Um, but what this does mean is that I'll have to drop off here and we will have to continue this in the next uh, video. So thank you all for watching and um, I will uh, be picking this up in the next video. Alright, thank you.